Hey guys, I have a uh, tip for you, for you uh, Fusion 360 users uh, this week. So one of them is the uh, idea of renaming um, your joints, your bodies, um, etc. on uh, what you're putting together. So here I have uh, uh, this shredder that I was making for contract work that didn't end up uh, going through. And so if you go here in the joints, you may see that this just has the name of whatever joint so it could be a rigid it could be a slider it could be something like that rotary whatever uh, and you see that they just have uh, sequential names now this isn't very helpful uh, for things that if I wanted to modify a uh, joint now on this once I put it in there generally I don't modify it so it's not that big of a deal for me and there's other ways of finding where they are and uh, finding what's associated with them so usually why I say that is that if I click on a body I can go through the timeline and then there's these three hash marks and then I'll be able to tell what uh, most likely I put which joint I did after that because usually I'll drag something in an assembly and then I'll joint it right after so right here is the part I moved in, and right here is the joint. But that's just how I do it. Also, it helps it keep it a little bit more organized. So I can just click on it and figure out where it is. But you can always go here, right-click, and rename, and name this whatever you want. So if you're struggling to uh, keep track of some of the things in your browser here, you can always go in and rename it. Pretty much anything that you see that is not an other component uh, can be renamed. So another option is something like a body can also be renamed. So if I go here and I create a sketch and then I just um, do this and I click new body, if I go up here to this guy, you can see I could also, instead of having body one, two, three, four, five, six, you could always go up here and rename the body to whatever you find helpful so that you could find it again. So that if you are doing something that uh, you don't want to assemble in 3D and it's just a whole bunch of things that are placed uh, in, or you want to design and build it instead of assembly, you want to build it all in one file Then you can, and you want to build as bodies instead of con uh, converting them to components, you can name them uh, differently. Also, if you create, even if you did create them uh, to components, if you did create the components from body, and now it's going to be at the very end. So even here, it's just going to be component one. So this is kind of confusing. Obviously, I could click on it and have it tell me what it is, but I don't want to do that. I want to go back up here, and I want to say that I want to rename. And I could say that this is, let's say that this is part of a shroud, right? So here's shroud right wall, right? And so this uh, just allows you to be more organized uh, when you are putting things together, especially when starting out. Uh, this can be disorientating when you have as many components as you do on something like this. For example, this assembly right here maybe has, I don't know, um, should have somewhere between 75 and 100 components in it, right? Now, of course, as an assembly, I've dragged and dropped the uh, components in, so they're all named. And then if you have a duplicate, you can have it... Uh, I don't believe you could actually give it a unique name inside here, which would be cool, but it does not look like Fusion has that uh, ability. So you can see here if I have multiple components of the same type, so all these are all inserts, they're all identical, and you can see here it'll go 1 through uh, 108, but they're all the same part. That's why it says insert. They're all the same component that I've dragged from another file into Fusion, and now that is what it's creating my assembly out of. So this is just a quick little um, tip that if you get disorientated uh, with having too many bodies or too many or even too many sketches, you could even name sketches. So you can go here and rename the sketch. So you could say this is the gear sketch, this is the you know the cutter teeth sketch or whatever. Uh, so if you have if you're too disorientated on the number of joints that you have, the number of sketches that you have, the number of the bodies that you have. Also, the number of something like uh, construction, uh, um, slicing planes, uh, sec uh, section analysis. If you have too many of those, then you could also uh, rename those. So, uh, if you need it, it's there for you, that uh, renaming functionality. That's the trick for this week. 
Hey guys, I also teach uh, formal classes on Udemy for uh, Fusion 360 as well as other courses. I have a beginning Fusion 360 and an intermediate Fusion 360 course on there as well as 3D printing, programming, and other technology classes, just general technology classes in general. So uh, they are set on a rolling... Um, uh, on rolling coupons so every once in a while a coupon will hit and you'll find it for the best price so go ahead and check out uh, if you're interested go ahead and check out my Udemy channel if you're interested in any of the classes that I teach or uh, more formal versions of these uh, these educational classes from the tips that I teach in these class in these videos thanks I'll see you guys in the next video bye